Howdy! I'm here with my boyfriend once again, and we're going to be ranking chips. Some of these we haven't had, so whichever ones we haven't had will go here. And then the tiers are goaded, great, alright, mid, not a fan but see the appeal, and then condemned to the pits of hell. Anyway, let's get with the first chip, which is Cape Cod. I haven't tried these. Have you had these? Nope. Nope. Okay. So they will go into Never Tried. Next up, Cheetos. I think these are goaded. What do you think? I've never had Cheetos in my life. <laughs> what? You never had Cheetos? No, I mean, we do have them. I just never tried them. Man, how am I going to rank the rest of the Cheetos then? Because we got nine different Cheetos here. I never met a single person who has not had Cheetos. Well, that's going to be replayed in the YouTube algorithm now. Uh, I'm just going to say great, since, you know, you haven't had them, but they are goaded. These ones right here at the very end, I never had, I don't think. I don't even know what these are. But the rest of these besides this one, yeah, I've had the rest of these. I actually have not had the extra flaming hot, but I've had... No, I haven't had these ones either, actually. These four and that one, the original, I have had. So... I will rank them all at great, because you can't go wrong with them. They're all pretty much goaded, but I can't exactly put them in goaded since Joey here has not had them. All right, next up, Chex Mix. We only have one, apparently, even though there's multiple flavors of Chex Mix. The only time I had to put the one here. I like some Chex Mix. The uh, original is kind of just... You know, they're alright, I guess. But I prefer, like, the cheese and the sweet and salty and even, like, some of the other ones. The Oriental and the other ones where it's just like, oh, it's based off of the original instead of, like, some kind of other flavoring. Those are, like, more. But the traditional, it's like, it's alright. What do you think? I've never had Chex Mix either. Well, if you want to try Chex Mix, I would go with one of the flavored ones. Like, uh, sweet and salty, and also the cheddar ones. There's also white cheddar. So, I'm gonna just say they're alright. Maybe even mid. Now, you've had Doritos, right? Yep, not all flavors, but I've had a couple. I know what I like. Okay. I don't think you had the Blaze ones, but I have, and they were pretty I think, spicy. I don't think we get those ones here. I've never seen them in stores, so... Yeah, I don't think Britain has a lot of spicy snacks, so... No, we do. We've got, like, Flaming Hot. We've got, like, Flaming Hot crisps and that. These are pretty good. I'm gonna say, since he hasn't had them, I would probably put them here on their own. Because they are a bit on the spicy side for my taste. I must say, alright. Too bad they don't sell anymore. Because if they did, it would be pretty, pretty cool. Next up, I think is the Cool Ranch. You had the Cool Ranch before, right? Yeah, I've had that one. I think it's, I think it's alright. Yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with it. So I must say, between great and alright. I don't think okay. it's the best Dorito flavor. But you can't go it wrong with it. It definitely isn't. Yeah, my favorite Dorito flavor will come up, though. Okay, what's next? Uh, the Dinamitas. The, uh, you know, rip-off Takis or whatever. I've never had those. Yeah, I have. They're alright. Just, uh, you know, I would rather eat a Taki than these. So I don't think these are as spicy as Takis, but I think the Takis have a little bit more flavor in them. So, I'm gonna say mid. Plumas. I think these are almost the same as the Blaze ones. I don't think I've had that flavor of Doritos, to be honest. Where it's the spicy only ever... of the Blaze with lime on them. So I've, only ever tried an extra... I've only ever tried three different flavors of them, that's it. This is basically a spicier version of this, I think. So basically, this spice with lime. I think that's what that is. And I think it's alright. 
but you haven't had them. So, uh... Nope. I guess what we could do is, if you haven't had them, then I could basically rank it how I want. Yeah, okay. Now, if you had a chip that I haven't had, then you would get to rank it. Okay. Okay. Uh, same with the flaming Hot Limon Doritos. I think these are alright too, but again, I prefer the flavor of Takis over those. And I think, uh, Takis are actually down here. Yeah, they're at the bottom right here. And then you got the classic, uh, Nacho Cheese Doritos. Not my favorite, but they Wait, are- Wait, hang on, those aren't Nacho Cheese, that's the, uh... Chili yes. heat wave bag. The tangy cheese one's yellow. Yeah, they're different in America. Oh. Uh. Yeah. It's is nacho, nacho cheese, cheese and tangy cheese the same? Because I don't know. Uh. Yeah, it is nacho cheese. They're both the same. Just for some reason, they have a different colored bag. Yeah. And this we is Australian, tiny. actually, so... We call them tangy cheese, so... Yeah, that counts. Yeah, the tangy cheese is actually... That one. Yeah, that's the one I've had. So, how would we rank it? Uh, I'd say... I'd say goated, to be honest. I agree. Now, Salsa Verde... I think I've had these one time, and that was it. And I think they're alright. Have you had them? Nope. So, yeah. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say alright. Me, personally, I like the spicy nacho better than the actual nacho. Because it's just a little bit more flavor. It's not much spicier than, like, regular flaming Hot you know, uh, chips, but it's actually slightly under. So, these are good. So, uh, I don't know if you had these or not. I don't know what the American bags are supposed to, like, what they are in comparison to the English bags, so... Yeah, well, I must still say goaded, because it's basically this, just better. <laughs> And then we finally get to my favorite of the Doritos, the spicy sweet chili. To you guys, it might uh, not be over there, so I don't think you've had them. I've not had them, no. Okay, uh, but if you like a spicy chip, these aren't that spicy, but they're really good. I would say go to in fact, I would say the best of all the Doritos. Okay, and then one more uh, Doritos. This is actually one of the more original ones, the taco flavored ones, which is actually one of the ones they're going to put into the uh, Locos Tacos ones. So they're basically taking one of these, putting it into that bag, and then mixing it with one of these and one of these. The one taco flavor I've had had though, was not these ones, but the late night loaded taco ones, which was basically the uh, taco seasoning you would do for homemade tacos on a chip. But too bad they got rid of those and uh, it got replaced by a burger Torino. But I haven't had these specific ones, so I can't really you know, say anything about them. However, have you tried these? Uh, what flavor are they? They're one of the original ones. Taco. No, I've never had that one. Okay. I've never had Fritos or Funyun either. Or Takis. Yeah, I've had these, actually. I haven't, so just... You just rank those. Okay. Uh... So, of oh, the Fritos... The only, the only... Wait, scroll down. The only chip brands on this list I've had, I think, are... Pringles and Lay's, and that's it. Nothing else. Not even Ruffles down here? Or Tostitos? Nope. nope. Mm. Okay. Not even like Kettle it was a Bad idea to do this video with a Brit, babe. You should have just picked someone else to do it. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's true. So I'm gonna rank the Fritos now. I'm gonna rank 
the chili cheese ones. I think of all the Fritos, this is the one to get. So I'm gonna say, all right. The regular Fritos are pretty mid. I'm not, uh, I'm not a fan of these. And I don't think a lot of people are. These are, you know, kind of just like, you know, plain, just a plain tort like corn chip if I was gonna get a plain corn chip then I'd get like Tostitos down here that I have you know something to dip with because these are too small to dip with so that's why I like the chili cheese ones because they have the flavoring but the reason why they put them in the chili cheese flavoring is because a lot of people put this in chili if you put it in chili it's pretty good and then you have the twists, which is not in this form factor. They also have other form factors of the original, which are in, like, the little cups. But these are barbecue flavored. I'm, uh, say all right with those as well. But still, the chili cheese Fritos are better. And then you said you haven't had the Funyuns, but I think both of these are goaded. Especially the flaming Hot ones, because it's just the regular Funyun. And then you have the flaming Hot on top of it. I haven't had flaming Hot Funyuns in a long time, though. I might pick them up again, because they were so good. The Hawaiian brand chips I have not had, so we can just throw those down there. Now we get to the kettle chips. And I'm going to piss off some people. I actually haven't had them. So... I've had, uh other brand of kettle chips before just not kettle brand in fact i think the kettle chips that i've had is actually from ruffles except they call it double crunch for whatever reason not kettle cooked i don't know why okay babe you're able to get in now because now we have the lays we're starting with the baked lays uh baked barbecue i don't know if you've had those ones or not yep never had barbecue bit in my life Really? Yep. Hmm. That's interesting. I think I only I've really like these. salt. I only really like salt and vinegar, prawn cocktail, chili, like spicy, and that's kind of about it. So you haven't had any of the other ones, not even the classic. I'm not a fan of classic, to be honest. I think I have had them. I just think they're kind of shit because I don't like plain. Well, yeah, I don't blame you for that. Not even, like, sour cream and onion, because that's one of their best Oh, no, oh, no I, I, I've had sour cream and onion, and I think those are okay. I just think that classic ways are absolute dog shit. Condemn, them, condemn that one to the pits of hell, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I actually think uh, the classic chips are alright, because they're a baseline. And then the flavors just improve upon the formula. Because mm -hmm. if the main chip sucks... Adding on to it is not going to do anything. Mm. The only actual Lay's I think I've had from the from the States is pickle flavor, and that's it. Yeah, we do have the pickle chips here as well. Yeah, I've tried them, and fact, from what I, I like here, them. That's them yeah, okay. right there. Let's, let's get to them when we get to them. So what's the first one? So baked barbecue. Not had that one, so you can rank that one if you want. Yeah, I've had these, and I think they're, you know probably mid because the baked chips the barbecue ones I prefer the original over the baked ones but the baked chips are actually alright because they're flaky in a way but the barbecue on this is not my favorite sour cream and onion baked I uh I like these better. So I'm gonna say, all right. And then the classic baked, I'm gonna say all right as well. And then we have the normal barbecue. Oh, wait, hang on. I think we call baked ones. I think we call them. I think they're ridged or something. Oh uh, yeah. I think the ridged ones are actually the wavy ones to y'all, aren't they? I, yeah, those are the ones. I've not had the baked ones, I don't think. Okay, um, so yeah. Then we have the barbecue lays. These, I would say, are great. Because
because they're addictive. And then we have the classic Lay's. I think those are alright. I wouldn't personally grab a bag of them, but you gotta have that baseline anyway. So I must say they're alright. Uh, that's the flaming Hot Chili ones. I think you've had those, right? Uh, not in terms of Lay's, no. But in terms of stuff like Doritos and Watsits, yeah. See, but I don't in general, think I've I had th these Lay's. I think that flavor in general is quite nice, but I've not had, I've not specifically had the Lay's version of those. Neither have I, to be honest, but I think they might be alright. Now we have a controversial one, ketchup chips. I've never had those. I have. And you know what? I like them. I need to try them. People hate on Ooh. them all the time, and I don't see why when barbecue is basically just dressed up ketchup. I want to try the bolognese lays, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think that one is on here. But yeah, why go for the barbecue if you're not going to like the ketchup ones? Besides, ketchup chips is the same as dipping fries into ketchup. That's all it is. Are these amazing? No. I must still say... Alright. But you should try them. Not, don't knock it before you try it. Now, something that is weird is that... Um, Doritos had a ketchup flavor. And it was kind of tangy, actually. Uh, I didn't hate them, but they don't have them anymore for some reason. There was also a mustard flavor that was also tangy, but for some reason I could not find a bag of those. Now we have the kettle cooked lays. You've probably not had these, and I haven't had these ones either. Like I said, the only kettle cooked ones I had was the Ruffles one, and they call them Double Crunch. But they're basically a kettle cooked ruffle but they're not on here but i haven't had the lays kettle cooked i should probably try some of them so yeah sorry if i'm going to piss off any kettle fans but i like kettle chips i just haven't had these specific ones lime chips i haven't had these and i don't think you have either nope now I have had pickle chips. I'm I going to I like, actually I say like they're not my thing because I'm not really a pickles guy, anyways. Although my boyfriend here loves them. Yeah, I do. I like them. I think they're. I think they're okay. I think they're all right. Yeah, me personally, I would put them on a sandwich, but not really on their own. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I I think they're okay. I just think that the salt and vinegar ones are better because the pickle ones taste kind of like... From what I remember, it tasted kind of like weak in terms of, like, flavoring. And also kind of... Yeah. Me personally, I maybe like the more. dill pickle better than just, you know, the salt and vinegar chips because both of these pretty much have, like, the same kind of audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say not really a fan, but I see the appeal for the pickle chips and these ones but they might also go higher up here for joey like in the all right in the mid tier and then we get to the sour cream and onion lays yeah i've had them before i think they're okay I think personally they're i think uh if these did not have the texture that lays had then i would like these more However, the taste is really good. I just don't really like the texture of Lay's as much. If they were a little bit crispier, I would put them in goaded. So, I'm going to put them with the grates alongside the barbecue. Now, what's this one down here? Um, I don't know what this one is. Let me try that one. That one looks more authentic. Sweet yeah, that's the one. Barbecue. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've I never had see that the pepper. One. I don't think I have either. So yeah. Now we're going to get into a weird category here, like stacks. They're basically Pringles. 
So I must say, with all of these, they're... Alright. They're alright. Salt and vinegar, whatever this one is. Sour cream and onion, and the classic. I would probably go with the actual Pringles over these. And we only have two of the wavy ones for some reason. The original and the ranch ones. Something I don't understand is, why are these ones classic, but the wavy ones are called original? I don't know, babe. Um... Uh, I think I like these ones over the classic, like, four-factor of Lay's, because it's a nice crunch as opposed to just a, you know, a chip that will basically melt in your mouth and basically turn into mush when you eat it. So I like these ones more. That's also why I like Ruffles more, as opposed to Lay's, because of the texture. So, with the wavy Lay's, I want to say... All right, except I'm gonna put these above over here, like this. I'll bring up the ketchup lays. The reason why these are engraved is because the flavoring makes up for the texture. But I will say, the wavy ranch ones are great. I would probably pick these up over all of the other ones. It would be this, then I would probably look at the Cheetos. And I would probably go with the classic Cheeto over the Flamin' Hot ones. But I prefer the jalapeno cheddar out of all of them. There was a recent one I had. It was called uh, Cajun Cheddar. That one's pretty good. It's not on here though. Uh, Miss Vicky's. That's my mom's name. Never had them. Uh, Mission. Never had them. Uh, Munchies. Yeah, this is basically just like a, uh, you take a variety of chips, you throw some pretzels in, and you have it in one bag. The kind of chip that you would probably have if you don't know what you want to grab, or, uh, you're high on weed, because you would have the serious case of munchies off of that. They probably don't have them in the UK, but you can imagine how it would taste, basically. Because there's two variants, the cheese and the spicy. So yeah, if you had the spicy and the cheesy Doritos, Sun Chips, and uh, Cheetos, and then throw pretzels in, you can imagine what it would taste like. That's all Munchies is. So I'm going to say, they're alright. I'm going to probably put them a little bit higher up though. I'm going to say... Between the actual Doritos and the Fritos. Seems like a good spot. Now, basically everything else after this, you, you haven't had, so... Uh, I mean, I've... Are those... I, I mean, I'm, I've had Pringles, but that's it. Those okay. are the only ones I've had. So you've had some of the Pringles. Okay. Uh, Pop Chips. I don't think I've had these. I've I had popcorners have... corners once, but the flavor Wait, I, I had I've was had... not these. Well, I think I've had one of the pop chip flavors before. Oh yeah, which one was it? Which we one? have barbecue, sea salt, and I think that's sour cream and onion. Yeah, I don't think I've had any of those. Okay. I think I've had the salt and vinegar one, but not any of those. This one's sea salt, though. It's just sea salt. And then we have the pop corners, which I think is the same as the pop chips. Just in a different form factor. And they come with like many other different flavors. Like we have white cheddar here. Then we have the other sea salt, which is basically this one. Then we have the kettle corn. The flavor I had was like a spicy cheese or something. A spicy queso. I liked those. Plus they're also healthier. They're healthy chips that don't uh, skimp out on the flavor. So if you want healthy chips, these are a good option. However, these ones I have not tried, but they are still good. Now we get to the Pringles. Uh, the first one is a barbecue one. Yeah, not have that one. Um, I must say these ones are alright. I must say the best out of, uh, you know, these kind of chips down here, besides what will be coming up at the moment. I think that is the, uh... These ones are the cheese. I don't know what those ones are. 
I think that's the one. Wait, wait it's there, baby. It's there. I found it. This is the one. I think that's yeah, the one. Yeah, never have those. Never have those ones. Neither have I. Mm hmm. What's next? I think these are the cheese ones. I've had these. They're pretty good. I have not had the cheese ones. We'll put them here. The one cheese that I prefer is the cheddar and sour cream. I'm supposed to just cheddar cheese. But those ones aren't on here. For some reason. Ah. I don't know why. I think these are the hot and spicy ones. I haven't had these. I haven't either, but I kind of want to now. Jalapeno, I haven't had these either. Me neither. Do we have the original? Personally, wouldn't pick these up, but they're alright. The pizza ones, I'm going to say, you know, at first they're like really good, but then after you eat a couple, it's just like, I'm sick of these. Because they are basically like ketchup chips, except sweeter. I would prefer ketchup chips over these, so I'm gonna just put these at the bottom, probably. I wouldn't really pick these up. There's other pizza chips I would have that taste better than this. Like, Gardetto's Pizzeria is a good example. It mostly tastes like a little bit of the sauce and then some herbs. That's what that tastes like. Uh, I think these are salt and vinegar. Yep, I've had those. Go to. I'm actually indifferent about it because I'm not really a salt and vinegar guy. Ah. I see the appeal. Not for me. This is not okay. my thing. So I would personally put them here. You would put them here. Some would put them in. All right. I must say right here. That good? Yeah. The sour cream and onion Pringles is the best of the Pringles, in my opinion. And then the wavy ones. I haven't had these ones, but I have other wavy. But these ones I've not had. The original wavy and the jalapeno wavy. I haven't had those. Okay, now we have the ruffles. Um, we have baked ruffles, the original, and sour cream and cheddar. They don't have any of the other ones for some reason. I don't know why. Because, like, in Canada you can get barbecue and all dressed. But there's also, I think, a ranch flavor that has a jalapeno thing to it. Uh, they also had a marinara sauce one, which I think... Kind of followed to the pizza Pringles, but it had a little bit of herbs to it as well. So, I liked those, but they don't sell them anymore for some reason. And then they had the twist ones, and also flaming Hot Cheddar and Sour Cream. And, uh, I think those are all the ones that I've had. But I've had all of these. Uh, they are owned by Frito-Lay, like, uh, the Doritos, the Fritos, the Lay's. The Cheetos, the Funyuns, I think, are also owned by Frito Lay. These are about the same as the Wavy up here, except I think I like these more. I haven't had them side by side, really, because I don't really pick up classic chips, like just the original ones, like this. I prefer to get like a flavored one, like the Cheddar and Sour Cream. Those are going it, baby. And then these are Cheddar and Sour Cream as well just baked. They're still pretty good, actually. I would probably put these in the great tier, because it doesn't skip out on the flavor of these. It still has this powder on it, just on a different kind of chip. Uh, haven't had these or these. We had Sun Chips right here. I think the only one I've had was the Cheddar ones, but I don't really pick these up. Uh, have you had any of these? No, I've not had any of the rest of those on the list. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just left on my own here. For some yeah, reason, Chester's Hot Fries is on the very end. I don't know why. Yeah, I think Sun Chips are alright. I'm gonna just put the, the one there and the rest of these I haven't had. I'm gonna say, with the Sun Chips, I would probably put these above the Baked Lays. And I like the texture of these more than the Classic Lays. So I'm gonna say put them right there. That looks good. And then the Takis. The only ones of these I've had was the purple bags, so I haven't had these ones. And then the normal Takis, I'm gonna say they're good. You can't go wrong with them. I think I've had the potato skins. I just don't think I've had this specific flavor. I think it was like a chili cheese one or something. I don't remember.
This one's cheddar and bacon, but I think the one I had was chili cheese. So, I'm gonna just put these there. I haven't had the lime Tostitos before. What, what is that? Does that say great apple? What? Hold up. Yeah, they sound like they would be good, actually. If, uh... If Doritos can't do a guacamole chip here in the States, I'd say go with these probably, but I haven't had them. I haven't had these ones either. For some reason, there's two bags there. I don't know why. <laughs> but the Tostito Scoops, I think they're alright. I'm gonna just say right here because it's like a plain chip. But with these, I prefer over... Fritos, because they're uh, actually good for dipping. That's what you use these for. You don't just eat them on their own. People that do, you know, you do you, but you know, uh, but you're meant to dip with these. That's why they're scoops in the first place. It would be like you know, you buy salsa by itself. You wouldn't do that. And then finally, we have the Chester's Hot Fries. I love these, man. They're goaded. Well, they... Since I uh, made that one thing where it's like, you know, if Joey hasn't had them, I could rank them however I want. So I'm going to say the Cheetos are going to go up. And that is our tier list, basically. Just ignore the ones at the bottom here. But this is, uh, my tier list. Let me know how you would rank these, and tell me if, uh, if I should try any of these.